Hi everyone, this is Uvez Bek. Welcome to VFX 101. I hope you like this video. In today's class, I will teach you how to import a 3D model in Adobe After Effects with the help of Element 3D plugin and how to import the texture with Element 3D, working with Element 3D lighting option and animate scene with the help of camera. So what are you waiting for? Let's start. First we create a solid layer, Batman 2021, okay, then apply element 3D effect, then go to the scene setup, click import button and import the 3D model. Now you see your 3D model is completely imported with material slots. Simple under the Batman model tab, select the first slot and click diffuse none set button and import the texture select another material slot and apply same step Let's add some glossiness value to shine our 3D model. Okay, copy diffuse texture, then paste into the normal bump slot. Reduce the bump value like 23. Now you see our 3D model look more real. Okay, apply same step to the other texture slot and hit OK. Okay, now we use some other option. Uh, first, uh, we enable the shadow and ambient occlusion and select the light preset is 360. Okay, now we add the camera for animation. After apply the camera layer, press C key one by one and select the any tool. Mostly I use the orbit and zoom tool. Okay, set the first frame position, then go to the camera layer transform option, apply key at position of interest and position. Then move the slider at 5 seconds and rotate the camera view with the help of camera orbit tool. Then move the slider at 10 seconds and rotate the camera. Let's play the video. Cool. Okay, create another scene. Simple, select the both layers and press Ctrl C key for copy the layers and create new composition and press Ctrl V for pass. Now we create a new camera animation. First, delete all old frames and apply same steps. Okay, we created four camera angle. Now jump to the first scene and create background, vintage shade and red color tone effect. Okay, uh, first create a solid layer and apply gradient ramp effect and select the dark epic color. Then create another dark grey solid layer named Vintage Look and draw a roughly mask. 
change mask mode subtract then press F key and increase the feather value and change the layer mode into overlay cool okay let's apply some color correction effect create adjustment layer and apply a red giant magic bullet look under the looks preset I select the crime scene look and change the color color like red tone apply level effect to add some brightness and contrast okay next select the 3d model layer and go to the element 3d render setting under the lighting options animate the x y and z rotation light simple apply the key set the value apply the key and move the slider and change the value and play the video cool now I am applying these steps to all my scenes and render the video if you like it share this tutorial and uh, subscribe to VFX 101 and must uh, press the bell icon thank you